A project to revamp a small neighborhood park in the Queen City is finally getting some attention. Our Hilly Morgan talks with residents about their hopes for the future of that space. And they were left in the park. So I Susan Dow lives in downtown Burlington, right next to Champlain Street Park. She says for years she's been cleaning up the park. All, all under here and over around, like I'll go look all under the benches. The park is tucked away in the middle of Burlington with just a little play structure. And it has been a hot spot for homeless people and drug activity. And when she heard that Burlington Parks and Rec got a T-Mobile hometown grant to revamp the park, she was all for it. I think it's a good idea. I think lighting needs to be part of the whole situation so that at night it doesn't become like an enclave for people who are looking for a place to do drugs or looking for a place to sleep and I don't know how we avoid that at this point. Burlington Parks and Rec has been trying to renovate Champlain Street Park since 2019. The $50,000 grant will help pay for new inclusive playground equipment, an accessible pathway, benches, bike racks, lighting, and landscaping. And with the help from community partners, they are excited to get the project up and running. It's awesome. This one in particular, people really feel like they it's their park and they own it and they've been in it and they've helped weed it or they've helped um, take some of the older things out in preparation for the renovation so you see the enthusiasm. We are growing when we are working hard to create new housing opportunities for in part for that to succeed uh, we also need to really complementary with that is investing in our public spaces and making them really welcoming uh, positive places to be. This is a great example of that. Parks and Rec is waiting to secure a contractor by the end of summer in hopes of starting construction by fall. In Burlington, Haley Morgan, Channel 3 News.